<laughs> uh, Charles, I know you're going to be watching this. You just have me stitches. I'm trying to find some very board. That's it. That's all I've got. I had loads of the stuff. I had big boards like this. Chloe moves in. It ain't her fault. I just don't know where I put them. Anyone building some it, but I don't really know what it's going to be, to be honest. Um, I found this. I can't remember what resolution it is. Display. That one. I'm using that. <laughs> I don't even know what it is. It's something to do with batteries, but I don't know. I've got a load of MOSFETs, which I'm just lining up on here just to see if I've got enough board to do what I want to do. This is a Teensy 4.1. Uh, unfortunately it's not 5 volt tolerant on the pins because what I could have done was put these things directly to the input outputs and I could have measured the voltage off them but I can't because I can't anyway can I yeah that's Charles I'm gonna have to use opto isolators that's all the opto isolators I've got it's just nothing's going right today it really is not going right I can't even figure it out in my own head what I'm going to do or how I'm going to do it. As you saw, I've got these bag of bloody 25 watt resistors which I've got. I only ordered three, I think. They <laughs> sent me 30. Oh, bollocks. Well, after a completely exhausting whatever, uh, I've been searching. I found glasses. I've never got any glasses. I wondered why. I now found them. They can go there. I found this bag, and in this bag is my Veriboard, which I knew I'd got some. And I've also got, I don't know what the hell, they, they, I don't even know what these are yet. I think this was a project that I was working on before. That'll be interesting. What are they? 10k resistors and some 220k resistors. So, I've got some. Oh, lovely. Yeah, Charles, uh, the man in South Africa, just he sent me a text message with a giggly voice. So I replied because I couldn't find it. When I found him, I sent him this video. Ha! <laughs> I know I've got some. <laughs> oh, yes. Look at that. Lovely. Come to daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, mate. <laughs> anyway, I can start building there. I don't know how. I don't know what. I'll be interested to find what these are. What are they? CMY74. Right, I was there this morning and I was looking for optocouplers. And they're quite expensive for what I want because I want four channel ones. I've already got them. These are four channel optocouplers with the dip things, mountings. So I've now got everything I want. How many bloody. I don't remember buying them. <laughs> I think it was the last time I thought about this project and I thought, yeah, go big or go home. Well, bloody hell, four channels. <laughs> uh, right. I'm going to start building. Yeah, while I was looking, I found these. Uh, I've got a few of them. Did that stop recording? I think it stopped recording on its own. Anyway, I found a few of these. And I've got a bigger one there. That one's a bit scary. Actually, these are scary. Uh, what you do is you get this. You get a four, three and a half, four volt battery. It don't really matter. You put that on there. I'll tell you what. That is unbelievably noisy. <laughs> the cat don't like it. <laughs> oh, he shit somewhere. This is my top secret project that I've been working on. These are batteries. These are 25 watt resistors. There's a Teensy 4. There's voltage dividers. And it's working. It's actually reading all the 16 cells on here. The idea of it is it's going to be ultimately it's going to charge discharge um capacity test everything uh you can take these cells out it doesn't complain at the minute but i'm going to have an alarm on it if a cell goes over voltage or it goes under voltage or whatever it does it'll set an alarm off 
I've actually got it pulsing now. It's, it's polling at um, 10 times a second and it's stable as anything. I'll see if I can show you. Look at that. You get the occasional blip. That's it. It's unbelievably stable. So when I started off, um, I'd, I was reading in uh, 10 bit, which is 1024, is it 1024 steps? Uh, but I knocked it up to 12 bit, and I, I enabled the internal uh, voltage reference, and it's stable as anything. That light's there; it goes on and off every time it poles. And as you can see, it's constantly on. <laughs> yeah, these voltage dividers. That says 10k, 20k, I think it is. I think I'm on now, I'm on 10k and 33k. I've just released a video. Everyone's emailing me. Ultimately, what this is going to do is test 16 cells at once. I've also got... Uh, these are MOSFETs. I think they're N-channel MOSFETs. Which I've still got to finish this off. That's going to go there. I like that. Something will go somewhere. Where's my display going? I don't know whether to use this OLED display. I might do. Depends how many pins I've got left. But I think I'm going to use this one. Uh, it's just a single. It's not negative. It's a positive. Is it a positive? No, I don't know. It's an LCD. It works fantastically. It's got um, a three colour backlight as well, so you know, you can change the colour. Well, I don't know why you want to. The, the only trouble is, again, I might not have enough pins, I don't know. But this was on my original one that I did um, a long, long time ago, which I'll put a clip of it now. So, what I'm going to do, I think I've got some crappy old 3S. Um, BMS's and I don't really want to use one but I think I need to get one used so as I can monitor everything all the time that's okay that's just a monitor it doesn't it doesn't actually give you much info unfortunately well it does it gives you the info you need but the wire comes out it gives you the info you need, but the only trouble that I can't see. The only trouble is at the minute it doesn't do anything at all, so I need to either finish that off, which is going to take a long, long time, or I need to put a BMS on from China that I don't really trust because I don't know what the hell it's doing. I prefer to use this, and I think I may actually develop it. So this is just a natural progression. Uh, the person who actually spurred me on to do this was Charles because we had a bit of a conversation about it. Plus which, I ordered three of these because I was only going to do a 3S, a discharge thing, a, a capacity sort of uh, test on cells on my power bank, my solar thing. But I decided not to because they sent me 30 instead of 3. Hey ho. So it's coming on. It's very very slow, but it's it is coming on. Uh, if you want to print this, you need a 400 mil bed. <laughs> I'm not releasing the the drawings, but I might do if anyone asks. I'm not releasing I'm not releasing the schematics for this because I can't be asked to do them. If you want it tough, um, the coding, don't know whenever it's finished. If I ever finish it. Well I'm an arse, I've just spent an hour. This is a Teensy 3.5 which the input pins are 5 volt tolerant and I've just, I think it was a Teensy 4.1 that I was using there. Because I, I want to get rid of the voltage dividers uh, I thought I'll use a Teensy 3.5 because I know they're 5 volt tolerant. I didn't even think about it and I've had this before, this is the second time it's caught me out. The TNC 3.5, although it's 5 volt tolerant on the pins, you can't apply more than 3.3 volts to read the analog input. If you read anything above 3.3 volts to 5 volts, it just won't register. 
it's 0 to 3.3 volts which is the scale of 10 bit is 1024 divisions and 12 bit is 4096 I hope that makes sense. Basically you can't put more than 3.3 volts into it and read it. Anything over that is completely wasted. So, I've got to go back to the other one. After I've done all this wiring again. <laughs> I'll just do it again, shall I? So as you know, this is my top secret mission. It don't really do much at the minute. Uh, I've got a wire hanging off here which I ain't got a clue where it goes to. I think it goes there, like that. Uh, what it does at the minute is it balances. So it will balance all these cells all at once. Or if you get the preset, if I program the preset into it, it'll all discharge them all, it'll discharge everyone to the same voltage, or it'll completely discharge them, deplete them to whatever voltage you want. Now Every good project has flashy lights on it. So if I plug my power bank into it, you'll see we've got lights. Now, some of these are on, like those three. Yeah, those three there, they're not on because they're not balancing. So what it's doing is, it's checking that battery against that battery. If that one's higher, it will discharge that. Then it checks that against that. If that one's higher it'll just dis discharge that as well and ignore that and basically it just loops through so what I've got to do is this OLED display does actually work but for some reason I, I don't know why as soon as I load my sketch up it don't work I'm not, I'm not happy about that now another thing as well these are that's basically ver veriboard PCB whatever these are brand spanking new, no, these are okay. This one here that I had, and it's just a word of warning for everybody, check absolutely everyone and run your fingernail or something across all the tracks, purely because it's taken me nearly six hours to diagnose a fault that was on the underside of the PCB. There was a hair, and, and I'm not joking, it was, well, it was tenth of the thickness of a human hair. It was just about bridging. So, always check to make sure that all the tracks are separated. That was an absolute nightmare to do. What we've got here is um, MOSFETs, which basically fire the discharge side of it. Uh, we've got here some resistors which are actually pull down resistors because the gate was floating. If you're using a MOSFET and the MOSFET's getting very, very hot, put a pull down resistor between the gate and the Arduino. Uh, purely because what happens is it starts floating, it's, it switches so bloody fast and it starts getting hot. So always use a pull down resistor. So I've got that done. That side of it is just a, a software limitation now. I've got to do a lot of software thinking if my old f brain will actually get round it. And then I can add other stuff. I still want to get the OLED working before I move on any further. But it's all working. It's not working fantastically at the minute purely because if I unplug all these batteries like this don't know what the bloody hell to do. It starts going mental. <laughs> so I've got to do a detection of there isn't a battery in there, that sort of thing. It's coming on, but very, very slowly.